What's up guys and gals, it's Will the Deep Sky Dude. I've got my first DIY video here. We're gonna take one of these Members Mark rigid protective cases uh, with its pluck foam interior and we're going to make it uh, a closed cell foam interior which is more durable and easier to use. Now these cases here that I've got, you can get from Sam's Club for about 20 bucks. Uh, Amazon has them for $48. Uh, surprisingly but uh, if you have a Sam's Club around you can get these pretty cheap uh, and they're fantastic they're a pelican style case with pluck foam you see there and you just pick it out and add your gear they're level 5 which means uh, they will uh, basically prevent dust and limited ingress they have these nice thick rubber seals around the edge which are fantastic can help keep moisture out durable locking areas and latches that that work really well and uh, so let's take a look inside. Now this is my eyepiece case. It's got a sturdy handle here. You've also got this uh, little pressure release valve which allows moisture uh, in and out. And uh, you can put those little silica packets in there if you're really worried about moisture getting in and getting your gear. So you can see my main eyepiece case here. I have all my Explorer Scientific eyepieces in here. My Howie Glider laser collimator, a uh, Vixen 8mm eyepiece. And you can see here the foam is untreated. It's real uh, light gray. Uh, you can see the Howie Glider tube lug there. I got a laser pointer in here, uh, which is a useful tool, along with a little red flashlight there, which is a great little tool. Um, and uh, this is the stuff we're going to be hitting it with, this peel coat. It's by Rust-Oleum. And basically it's a uh, repealable rubber coating uh, once it dries. And it's basically Plasti Dip or anything like that. You can use that as well. So I've removed my eyepieces. This is what the eyepiece case looks like without everything in there. And I'm going to take it outside and begin to uh, hit every corner I can with this spray. Now something to note here is you definitely want to wear some kind of respirator. Definitely not the little paper masks that you wear uh, just you know, doing whatever. Definitely get you one of the, uh, the better ones and um, protect yourself because this stuff is fairly... Uh, toxic. You do not want to breathe this stuff in. It's uh, basically vaporized rubber or, you know, it's uh, aerosol rubber. <laughs> so don't breathe it. And uh, but basically what you're going to want to do is spray back and forth gently until the foam is fairly covered. And make sure you're getting in all the nooks and crannies, whatever you're putting in these, whether it's eyepieces, astronomical cameras, DSLRs, you name it. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that this this foam holds up over the years and uh, frequent use. You know, you can you can even tear new uh, tear new things into this foam on accident without even wanting to. So you see, I just went to the other side, started spraying it, and you can see how the color changes. That's a good indicator to when you've basically got enough of that coat. You don't want to oversaturate it per coat. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to uh, get in there quick and kind of get the, the, f the first coat and second coat on there. And then I think after the third and fourth coat, you can start laying a little bit thicker. And I usually do around five to ten coats, just depending on how I'm feeling that day. I think on this eyepiece case, I did about six. Um, and about 15 to 20 minutes each time uh, after I sprayed. So here's a little test piece that I did. Uh, you can see one side is definitely coated, the other side is definitely not. And uh, you can see that if you just poke at it here, immediately the pluck foam is designed to do this. It's designed to come apart easily. But then if you if you just do the same thing up here, you can see that that, that rubber has just made that foam so much more stout and so much more usable. And uh, again, just showing you the difference here between the uh, the two surfaces. And then you can see on the sides even, uh, there's better resistance to separation. Uh, you see it there as well. This is a lighter coat. I think maybe one or two coats. And you can see a bit of separation on the rubber side. But even then, one or two coats is still better than just the regular pluck foam. So here's my main eyepiece case all reassembled. I let this thing dry for about 24 hours to make sure there was no residue or anything like that. And uh, like I said, I did about uh, five or six coats of the stuff here. I could have probably gone a little more, uh, but for what it is, it's working well. And uh, it's, it's great. I love it. I mean, it, it keeps everything where it needs to be. 
This case is extremely easy to use. You can see when I pull things out, everything stays put. You can even drop a couple of uh, drops of glue to keep your, uh, your layers together there. I didn't treat the top and bottom layers, just this middle layer. And you can see it does pretty well. Uh, this is my DSLR case. You can see there's no separation there. It's not trying to, to separate on me. You can remove your gear, use it, and everything is all good. Um, these cases have held up at uh, a couple of events that I've used them at. Everything was, was good. Um, so I'm very pleased with them for the price. Check them out. And uh, you can do this with any pluck foam case. It's a great technique. I didn't invent it. I found it online and uh, just figured I'd share it with my astronomy friends. And uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.